everyone and welcome to this tutorial as part of our photo restoration series and in this tutorial we're going to be covering how to remove dust and scratches from your photographs now as you can see in this photograph this is quite a nasty uh, picture where it's or photo it's got a, loads of dust and dirt on it now you can get this from scanners um, or just general deterioration from photographs but we're going to show you a way to remove all this uh, from your photos and this one's pretty bad and you know you're going to come across this quite a bit so let's just reduce that down a bit and show you first off uh, what will happen um, when we put the dust and scratch remover on so let's back up our copy first like so and then from there we're going to put our filter on. Now if we put our noise, go to noise and then dust and scratch remover which is part of this Photoshop um, package and we only have it on 2 and 1 which is pretty low and click OK. Now that's done a really really good job. It's removed all the dust and dirt from the sky like so but in the process it smashed all the pixels on top of this roof here and everywhere else so it can't it can't decipher the pixel the dirt pixels to normal pixels and it just destroys all the good goodness in the picture so if you look here now there's no detail left it's to call the detail out so if I just do the before and after you can see that's th that's how it was and that's after the filter has been applied now I don't know about you but I prefer the, the dust and scratches to be removed but I don't want to destroy the photograph because our purpose is, is to restore the photo so we can use uh, plugins and whatever like uh, photo uh, Polaroid uh, dust and scratch remover plugin and other numerous different ones but they do the same thing they sometimes destroy the pixels in the quality of the picture and you end up with a clean photo but a destroyed photo in my opinion so we're going to show you a way to do this we're going to leave the actual filter applied but what we're going to do is we're going to come across and put a little mark into our dust and scratches there which is what the filter we've just applied on our history palette and then what we're going to do is click on this layer our duplicate layer which is the layer that we we made a copy of so now we've got the ticket still in the dust and scratches and now we've clicked on our duplicate layer which now brings all our dust back but we've still got our dust and scratches applied on the history brush so we're going to use the history brush to remove it so we're going to click on our history brush and I'm going to put year brush on and go on to lighten let's just zoom on in there a little bit so we can see what we're doing right let's just pull that out a tad one more that's it now go on our history brush and put it on lighten and straight away it's going to lighten up all these dark areas so all these dark little spots is taking them out but if you can see what it's doing now I'm rushing a bit here so I would advise you to sort of take it in really nice and easy like this with a smaller brush but because of the time I'm having to rush a bit but as you can see it's taking all these little black marks out now if I went over this white one it won't work and that's because I've got it on to lighten but I'm going to show you a way to do them uh, white marks um, let's just keep going here until I get all this dark spots off ok let's do some of these around here like so and I think this is probably the best method that I've come across this is, I've not invented this method, this is a method that I've I've picked up along the way so whoever's thought of this method thanks very much because I think it's probably the best
best one that I've come across so far. So let's let's just give that a little go here, like so. And as you can see, it's starting to take shape. And if you can see, it's not destroying the sky. Now, if I was to use the clone stamp tool here or the healing brush, what that does is it damages the pixels uh, around it. It, 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 uses it, so it is actually damaging the photograph if you use it a lot or too much. For an area this much, this size, to do the cloning stamp tool or the healing brush, you're going to see marks on the sky eventually. Whereas this way, we're not destroying it at all. So now I'm going to get rid of these white marks because I can't get rid of them, you see. So I'm going to go on to darken, and away you go. It's, it's that simple. I was well amazed when I found it, this method, and I've been using it ever since. But let's just get rid of these little white ones. And that's the whole idea with uh, tutorials. It's a learning curve. You know, you're learning all the time. There's someone's always got a better way of doing it than what your way is and I just take that on board and, look and adapt it to my own little way and that's what it's all about and now I'm passing it on to you guys so let's just get rid of some of this white here okay so that's pretty much there now so let's just uh Let's do some of this white on the end. I'm clicking like crazy because I've only got 10 minutes to do it and it's quite a lot to do. Okay. You can do a better job than that. So I'm gonna call that. I'm gonna call this done. Now, I don't know about you, but that looks pretty good. So if I just zoom out here, you can see already that looks ten times better. The sky is all clean and it hasn't lost any detail. And also, more importantly, the before and after. There's no difference in the picture as you can see, only the dirt. All this detail has stayed. There's no loss of detail and that's, that's what we're after in photo restoration is keep as much detail as possible. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave your comments. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.